anyone seen Maria? No, mother. We haven't seen her since morning. God alone knows where she is. And you, sister Cecilia? Oh. I love her dearly. But she always seems to be in trouble. Exactly what I would say. She climbs the tree and strikes her knee. Her dress has gone her She walks is on her way to Mars and Mr. Jones is there. And underneath the wind, she starts to sit for hell. I need a bird to sing in the army. She's always late for jam, but her man is in the She's always late for everything except for everything. Captain. 
Captain Wantra to expect you tomorrow. Captain, a retired officer of the Imperial Navy, a fine man and a brave man. His wife died several years ago, leaving him alone with the children. And I understand he's had a most difficult time managing to keep a governess there. Why difficult, Reverend Mother? The Lord will show you in his own good time. <laughs> when the man closes the door, somewhere he opens a window. I'm Fraulein Maria. Much look like a governess. Turn around, please. What? Yes, turn around. Hat off. Hat off. Ah, it's the dress. You have to wear another one before you meet the children. But I don't have another one. I mean, when I went to the army. I gave away all my clothes to the poor. Hmm. What about this one? Uh, well, um, the poor do not want this one. I would have made a new dress, have there been some time. I can make my own clothes. Well, I'll ask her out to get you some material today if possible. Now, Frau, Frau... Fraulein Maria. Fraulein Maria, I don't know how much children mother has told you. Not much. You? I've dwelt in the long line of governesses who have come to take care of my children since their mother died. I trust that you will be an improvement on the last one. Her, she stayed for two hours. What's wrong with the children, sir? There's nothing wrong with the children. Only the governesses. They are completely unable to maintain the discipline without which this house cannot be run. Do you understand that, Fraulein? Oh, yes, sir. Every morning, you will concentrate on the children's studies. I will not permit them to dream away their summer holidays. Every afternoon, they will march around the ground, breathing deeply, and their bedtime is to be strictly observed. But excuse me, sir, what time do the children play? You have to conduct them in an orderly fashion at all times, and I put you in command. Oh, yes, sir. Definitely not for me. Fraulein, were you this much of 
problem at the convent? Oh, much more, sir. <laughs> well, excuse me, sir. I don't know your signal. You may call me Captain. <laughs> all right, at ease. Now, would you please tell me your names all over again and how old you are? I'm Lisa. I'm 16 years old and I don't want a governess. So, I'm glad you told me this. We'll just be good friends. <laughs> I'm Frederick. I'm 14 and I'm impossible. Really? Who told you that, Frederick? Fraulein Josephine, four governesses ago. I am Louisa. Wait. You didn't tell me how old you are, Brigitte. I'm Louisa and she's Brigitte. And she's 13 years old. And you are smart. I'm 10 and I think definitely that you are the ugliest one I ever saw. You don't say that. Why not? Don't you think she's ugly? Of course. <laughs> I'm third, I'm ten, and I'm incorrigible. Oh, congratulations. What's incorrigible? I think it means you want to be treated like a man. I'm Marta, and I'm going to be seven on Tuesday. And I'd like a pink dress. Oh, pink's my favorite color too. And yes. You're Gretel and you're five years old. My, you're practically a lady. <laughs> now, I have to tell you a secret. secret? I've never been a governess before. Okay. You don't know anything about being a governess? Nothing. I'd like some advice. Well, the best way is to start telling Dad to mind his own business. <laughs> and yes, never ever come to dinner on time. Never have your food quietly. And when you have your food, don't have it quietly. Blow your nose loudly. <laughs> oh, don't you hear what they say? Why not? Because I really like you. Oh. All right, children. All right. I'll take you for a walk. Oh, we don't need to be a mind. We don't need to be a mind. quick, 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 quick. <laughs>
for you, Fraulein Maria, the captain, had the sent in from the town for dresses. Oh, they're lovely. They'll make the prettiest dresses I ever had. Um, do you think the captain will get me some more material if I ask him? But how many dresses the governess need? No, no, not for me. These are for the children. I want to make them some play clothes. Want to have children? Don't play. They march. I'm sure you don't approve of that. Ever since the captain lost his wife, he runs this house as if he was a man of his ship. Whistles, orders. No more music, no more laughing. Laughing and singing reminds him of her. Oh, that's so wrong. Poor children. Well, that's that. How do you like your room? New curtains have been ordered. New curtains? What for? These are fine. Nevertheless, new ones have been ordered. Good night now. Oh, well, uh, excuse me. Um, if I spoke to him about the material tomorrow? He's leaving for Vienna the first thing in the morning. So how long will he be going? Oh, it depends. The last time, the captain visited the baroness, he stayed for a month. I shouldn't be saying this, not too many ways. I don't know you very well, but information the captain is seriously taking my the woman before the summer is over. Oh, that will be wonderful. The children will have a mother again. Mother? Well, good night. Good night. Oh, Lord, thank you for everything. I want you to bless Lisa, Frederick, Vigita, Marta, Louisa, Gretel, and what's his name? The boy who said he's incorrigible. Anyway, may God bless him. Amen. Oh, Gretel, are you scared? Yes, I am very scared. You can sleep with me, but where are the others? They are sleeping. They are not scared. Really? Oh, look. All right, everyone, come on over here. Now, all we have to do is wait for the boys. You won't see them. Boys are great. Really? Slavers 
and schnitzel with noodles, wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, silver white windows that melt into springs. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when Did I not tell you that the bed timing is to be observed strictly? Well, uh, Captain, uh, the general, but, uh, well, you did, sir. And do you, or do you not have difficulty remembering such simple instructions? I do. <coughs> All right, Jim, you heard your father. Off you go. Quickly. And do you remember that? I'm leaving for Vienna. First thing in the morning, and first thing in this house is Discipline, and I trust that before I return, you have a quiet sir. Well, Captain, I was wondering if the children could have some play clothes. Fraulein! Some material. Fraulein, I do not make repetition. Yes, but they're children. <coughs> and I'm their father. Good night. Good night.
business in hand, you can figure out million different tunes while mixing them up. Like this. So do love me do rain. Can you do that? Captain very much. Don't you? 
Do I have any bills? Well, Max, this is none of your business. And I would not have you ask me that again. Well, I like a child. I like him to ring. Come now, tell him Max. Every insy, wincy, teeny, mealy girl. Well, I think I'm here in the fraud. <coughs> oh, if I know you correctly. And I think, I do. You will find some day. Well, you know the captain. He's not an ordinary man. When his wife died, she left him with a terrible heartache. Oh, when your husband died, he left you with a <laughs> terrible fortune. Oh, Max, you are so naughty. And you're so nice. You must marry the captain. So all the lovely money yeah. remains in the family. No, 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 I will not hear a thing about it. I want the truth. Yes, Captain. Have my children, by any chance, been climbing trees today? Oh, yes, Captain. And from where did they get these, these, uh, these? Lakelets. <laughs> oh, that was called it. I made them from the curtains that were hanging in my bedroom. Are you trying to tell me that my children were roaming all over the town Wearing old curtains. Mm -hmm. And having a marvelous time. But they have uniforms. How can the children play if they're wearing the swelling their clothes? Uniforms, ha! But they will disobey. They won't dare. They love you so much. I will not have you discuss my children that. I know you don't, but you've got to. I will not trust you. I know you don't, but you've got to. Now listen. Lisa's with a child and you will be a woman like you. No, 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 I'm not listening. And he was to be a man like you. He's got no one to show you. That is none of your business. You don't have to show you about everything. I'm not discussing my children that way. One more round and I'm going. I'm not finished yet. Oh yes, you are. You will pack your bags this minute and return to me.
Captain. My dear, is there anything you can't do well? Well, I couldn't become a very good nun. Ah, I could help you with that. But then she did what? I have to announce something. Surprise, surprise! Today, after hearing the children sing, I found my entry to the music competition. Fun. And who would you be exploiting this time? Yes. Yes. The Saint Ignatius choir. No, no. The Mount Hood choir. Not at all. The singers all in one family. The one black singers. Oh, yes. <laughs> What's so funny? You are not. My children will not sing in public. But why? Look the more children. Let's go. We have to get ready for the party tonight. Yes. Yeah, come on. Well.
again, Mister. That was too high. Oh, oh, you all went out this time. Uh, hey, uh, uh, catch, uh, uh, Brigitte. Liesel and I, Brigitte. Oh yes, Liesel and Brigitte. Catch. Barry uh. Strider, if you don't mind, can we stop playing? We are tired. Oh yes, why not? We play tomorrow. We have fun. Oh, we play yes. tomorrow. Oh, we play tomorrow. 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 Isn't it? The tune's so sweet. <laughs> then what's the easy thing? I get a fiendish delight at thinking of you as a mother of seven children. How do you plan to do it? Well, I don't. Haven't you heard those wonderful little institutions called boarding houses? Well, I wanted to talk to you. Well, hello. Mm. I need to check out what's cooking in the kitchen. Talk to you about something. When two people talk about marriage, they are... Uh... Don't. Not another word. I understand. Look, you are too independent. And I'm someone who needs me desperately. And not me. Then needs my money desperately. And you don't want either one. And then, how can a marriage be possible when one is in love with someone else? So it would be better that I leave and you marry Maria. Well, I always do. You will really understand. Thank you. Well, I must take leave. Austria. There is no Austria. 
Don't you understand? Don't you see? This is the only way to escape. Okay. Tell the children to get ready. And don't say anything that will cause panic or fight. Surround him! My fellow countrymen, I shall not be seeing you, perhaps, for a very long time. Now, I would like to sing for my country. My song is the love for my country. And I'm sure that you all share that love with me. Yeah. 